Okay, hello Bio2, this is Mr. B, and today this video is going to focus on chapter 20, and is entitled The Kingdom Protista. So this is going to be a new group of organisms that we have yet to discuss. Remember, kingdom being our highest level of classification that we have, and so we're going to take a look at what type of organisms are going to fall into this kingdom. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what is a protist? Because that is the general name for all the organisms that are going to fall underneath this group. So protists are going to be eukaryotic uh, organisms that are not members of the plant, animal, or fungi kingdom. So fungi is what we looked at first, then we just got finished with all the plants. Next semester we're going to look at the animals. So we need to make sure we hit on all these groups of eukaryotes because well, we can't leave out the protists. So this is our eukaryotic organisms. So our, this kingdom will include more than 200,000 species and most but not all are going to be unicellular again that's just being that they're made out of, of one cell and this has kind of been classified as almost a catch-all group so something that doesn't fit into the plant animal or fungi thing is going to fall underneath the protus and so how this group actually came to be these are actually our first eukaryotic organisms on earth and their mitochondria and, chlor and chloroplasts and eukaryotic cells may have descended from prokaryotes that lived inside larger cells. So what this is saying is that this group came along because there were some prokaryotic cells that actually lived inside of one another and that's actually kind of how eukaryotic cells came to be. So it's pretty interesting. We can spend a lot more time to discuss it. But this is just an introduction saying that this group most likely evolved from a bunch of prokaryotic cells that came together to form one large cell. And so the way that we classify the protists, they can be classified mainly on how they obtain nutrition, since this is kind of like a, <clears throat> again, a goofy group. They have a lot of different types in them. So our first group that we have are going to be heterotrophs, and those are going to be called our animal-like protists. And then ones that can photosynthesize, so ones that are actually capable of photosynthesis, are called plant-like protists. And then there are decomposers, and there's actually some parasitic protists, are going to be called our fungus-like protists, our protists. And then also, some protists can cause serious diseases in humans, and that's what our activity the next couple days is focused on. So again, that's just a quick introduction of this group. Let me know if you have any questions.